Hello there, and how are you doing today? Oh, you are! Well, that is just wonderful to hear that. And me, little old moi, yes, I am doing very well, thank you. Enjoying my freedom from quarantine. And what's the temperature today, you ask? Well, at the minute, outside, it is 18 degrees Celsius maybe we might get 19 or 20 today with a bit of luck weather forecast is for partly cloudy with light breeze so at 18 degrees that by the way is 65 in fahrenheit i have got the washout on the line yes i have been domestic today i know don't sh don't tell anybody whatever you do Otherwise, it might uh, ruin my tough guy image. What do you think? <laughs> now, over in Verona Diocese, where my pal Father Ludovic is, they have got 33, 34 degrees today. That is 94 Fahrenheit. He is melting. So I tell him how cool we are here in England. And so he wants to come over. Now, the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, or Bojo for short, <laughs> he has announced that he's going to relax the quarantine and entry requirements beginning on the 19th, which is next week. So hopefully, I will be able to get Father Ludovic to come over. But it all depends on whether the quarantines are lifted and all of the other restrictions. And it's a nightmare going through all of the websites on the government website to find out what he's supposed to do and who is supposed to do it and show what and where and what documents. It's a mess. Nothing is easy. But if he comes in, then he will be here for about a month and we shall have some fun. So, what am I going to do today? Well, funny you should ask that. Because Captain GL, that's the name of his YouTube channel, um, he said, can he suggest VCBI, which is... Uh, Bandaranaike in Colombo in Sri Lanka to go to VOBL which is Bangalore or Bangalore in India. Of course and yes I can. So what I did is I went online to check to see if there were any direct flights and there are none. So we are going to be trailblazing our flight today. The other thing I had to go look online was for airport scenery. Otherwise, it would be the dull, boring, box-like P3D standard stuff, which is, well, not particularly enticing. So I went online, did a search, and I found a very nice airport scenery for Bangalore, and that was put out by... FSDG. Now, that was fine, but the one for Colombo, Bandaranaike, that was a little bit more difficult to find, and I couldn't find a payware one, but I did find a very delightful freeware version. So that's what I have in at the moment. Now, where to start? Well, we'll park at stand A3 and go from there. 
So it's time now to get on the computer, have a look at windy.com and then let's go on in and make our flight plan using SimBrief and then pop it into Navigraph and start our flight. So are you ready? Got your bags packed? All set to go? Good. In that case, let's have a look at the pre-flight, shall we? Here we are in windy.com and we are at BCBI, which is Bandara Nike. And you can see here, here's the airport right at this particular point. Now I'll zoom in a bit. Well, perhaps too far there. Okay, so this is the airport right here. Bandara Nike. It says that the wind is 250 degrees at 8 knots varying between 210 and 300. So, going to be interesting. It's at minimum BFR at the moment. It says the 10 kilometers visibility, broken clouds at 1,700 feet. Temperature 31 degrees. Wow. And there's the Q&H. So that's not too bad. If it stays VFR, we'll be fine, but we'll be filing an IFR departure in any event. So looking at the runways, well, if the wind is coming this way, then obviously we will be departing in that direction. So that would mean that we would be taking off on runway 22. And as for parking, well, we're going to park at stand A3. Now over at our destination, and here it is, there's Bangalore right here. You can see how big that airport is. Look at that. Right, I'll zoom back out. And it's again here is a minimum VFR wind 270 degrees at 13 knots visibility is just 6,000 meters. So definitely going to be a problem going in there for VFR if it holds up like that. Scattered cloud at 1,000 feet. So it is quite low broken and at 8,000 feet, scattered at 1,200 feet. Temperature 27 degrees, Q&H 1009. Looking at the runways, we're going to be coming in on the northern side. So that means we'll be approaching from this direction and going in to face the wind. Right, let's go now into SimBrief and let's make our flight plan. We are, of course, Ryanair. We are 186. We are departing from BC, BI, and we are going to go to VOBL. Aircraft type is this one. And here, right here, you can see our registration number EIENI. -E Schedule flight time is 1 hour 45. Departure is 22. And 27 right is what it's calling for. That's not bad, not bad. Passengers, we are full. Cargo, we have one ton of all of that precious caviar and champagne, of course. And here, this is our flight route that we'll be putting in to the FMC. So we'll be using the, the Demo 1D departure and the ADCAL 7 Foxtrot arrival. Okay, everything seems to be valid. Looking here at the route, 
Now, I'm going to be crossing the sea at that point and then coming right up on here. In case we can't land, then this is our alternate airport over on the side, VOTB. Tirupati. Okay, we will save this. Flight saved, generate, and let's make our flight plan. Here we are. It's giving us a cruising altitude of 36,000 feet. Airtime is just a little bit over an hour. Block fuel is 7,047 kilograms. Okay, going down. Here's the essential information that we need. I'm just going to have a look here at the weather profile. Oh yes, there is a bit of a frontal movement coming in from the right, but we should be okay. Here's the wind at 300, flight level 300, 30,000 feet. It's all headwind. And at 34,000 feet, it's crosswind and at 39,000 feet it's more crosswind. Well we're not going to get a tailwind so we'll have to make the best of this. And here is our profile coming from here from sea level all the way over here to BOBL in Bangalore in India. So now we need to bring this in to Navigraph. We'll go up here to Flights and click New Flight from SimBrief and we will use the one that we just made. And there it is. So now we need to add the charts that go across the bottom so that they are active and for quick access. So I'm going to right click on this, left click on open charts list, and we'll need the airport and the parking stands and coordinates. And we'll also need the departure is going to be this one so we'll also put that at the bottom as well and looking at it on so there's going to be our departure swing to the right bring ourselves back and then make this route for the departure over at our destination, open the charts list for there for Bangalore. We'll need the airport, parking stands. For the approach, we're coming in on runway 27 right. So we'll bring this one in. Here's the, but we've first next got to bring in this. So let's show this as an overlay. And now this gives us the different routes. So we'll be taking one of these to go in on to that runway. So the approach, we click down here, will be ILS runway 27 right, final. So we'll be coming straight up here and then going in straight to land on the runway 27 right.
Okay, we are all set to go. We have our route. So let's go on into the cockpit and let's get the engine started and go off to India. Ah, oh, there you are. Come on in, take your seat, buckle up. I take it that everything is all right. Did you do your walk around the aircraft? Kick the tires, make sure that there are no holes in the fuselage. Good. And you got the fuel. Very good. I'm glad you remembered to get the fuel because we have a longish flight today and we don't want to run over, run out of fuel as we're crossing some open water. So let's get started, shall we? Right, battery on, put on the fuel pumps and let's start the APU. Now here we are, we are in Bandaranaike Airport, we are at Stand A3 and believe it or not, all of this, this is freeware. Freeware, it's really quite... Uh, quite decent. It, I mean the detail is is remarkable. It's everywhere. Look at that. Not bad at all. So I'm very pleased with the detail coming from this. I have payware of course for going into Bangalore but oh and here we go. The We now have 115 volts coming off the APU. So I'll turn on the IRS to get ourselves aligned. Turn on the galley switch, emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belts. Turn on the left and the right window heat, probes and the hydraulic pumps these two lights are indicating that the hatch is open and that the air stairs are extended. Over here we'll turn on the APU bleed and then get the air conditioning running. Because temperature here is 31 degrees. So we're not doing too bad. The weather, as you can see, we have some cloud coming in, so it may be rather interesting for visibility, but at the minute, everything seems to be VFR. Now let's go in and start to program the FMC. So we'll clear that, go into here, and we are VCBI, so VCBI. And it says, if we look at the little post in front of us, and if we check on our parking stand coordinates, that we are actually 7107. So there was 7107, okay, and then 79532. So 79532. There it is. There's our coordinates entered in. Go to root, so we'll put that in again. So BCBI, BCBI. We're going to go to VOBL. We have flight number Ryanair RYR 186. <coughs> <clears throat> go next page and then we'll put in the flight plan exactly as it came in off Simbrief. So we're going to go direct to Demon first, so D-E-M-O-N and then we go direct to Aromo.
and then we're direct to Vemdi. And then we go by J15, so the Juliet 15, to Adkal. Here we go. And activate that. Good. Go to Departure. We are departing on runway 22 and we'll be using the, the Demon 1D departure. At our arrival, we're coming in on 27 right. So next page, ILS 27 right and the ADCAL 7F. So there's the ADCAL 7F. And execute that. Now we'll go in legs and we'll have a look down this and see whether there's any inconsistencies. So we'll step through this. There's the departure. And ah, here we go. There's a here's a break. So we'll bring this up. See how it brings it up. So now we are joined all the way in to a landing. Good. We have a complete route. So we'll push those buttons and. Now we need to do a fix, so we're going to do a fix at B-O-B-L and we need 4 miles, 10 miles and 30 miles. For our descent, we need the information for these flight levels, 200, 150 and 100. The Q and H at our destination is 1008. And the direction and speed is 26518. And at 150 it is 25319. And at 100, it is 28734. Okay. So, we have everything in. We're ready now to perform the initialization. Our fuel today is 2,849 for reserve. <clears throat> the trip and taxi is 3,476. That comes to 6,325 or 6.3. 6.3, we'll put that in here. Reserves, as I said, is 2.8. Double click this and let the computer make the calculations. There it is. Cost index is 6. Our flight altitude is 360. Cruise wind is 36 at 13. And our Transition altitude is 7,000 feet. And we can execute that. And one limit, 29 degrees here, so nice and warm. 
takeoff, we will be using flaps 10. And double clicking this allows the computer to calculate the center of gravity and the trim wheel. So that's the information there. Single click on that brings in the information for V1, rotate, and V2. So we'll put the 146 in, in here. And up in here I'm putting 36,000 feet for our cruising altitude. Our landing altitude, the elevation of the airport, the airport at this point, there's quite a bit of difference between the runway and the airport. And since this is the landing altitude when we open up the doors in a pressurized cabin, we're going to be using the airport elevation, which is 3,000 feet. So we'll turn this up to 3,000. There we go, 3,000 feet. Now we have that. So I'll put in the ATIS for our destination, which is 128. 0.67. Good, got that. And the localizer is 108.3. Good, got that. Now looking at our Navigraph charts, if we're departing on runway 22, then the heading that we need to put in is 220 degrees. And up here, 220. And 220 here as well. Now we'll check to see whether or not we have a good flight plan here. We have two green lights. We are set and ready to go. Oh, good. So far, so good. Turn on the yaw damper. There it goes. The light has gone out. So now it's time to contact the tower here, and they're right there in front of us. So give a nice wave, smile at them, and let's ask for our IFR clearance. Ground, Ryanair 186, IFR2, Kemper International, ready to copy. Ryanair 186 is cleared to Kemper Gowda International Airport as file, fly runway ready, climb and maintain, 14,000 departure frequency is 120.6353. Ryanair 186, cleared to Kemper Gowda International Airport as file, fly runway heading, climb and maintain, 14,000 departure on 120.6353. Ryanair 186, red back correct. Contact ground on 121.9. Right, we have our ground, clearance. Ryanair 186, ready to taxi, IFR. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 22, by a taxiway, runway 4, contact tower on 118.7, when ready. Taxi to and hold short, runway 22, by a taxiway, runway 4, Ryanair 186. Right, we have our clearance, we have our taxi instructions. I. All our passengers are on board. I'm closing the hatch, bringing up the air stairs. We're now going through all of the, the checks. It says here, fuel is check, windows locked both, and yes, <laughs> they are locked. <laughs> Seatbelt signs are on, door lights are out, good, they're on. All lights are out, MCP is correct, thrust is correct, takeoff speed V1 is check, pre-flight is complete, and taxi brief-off is completed, and collision light is now on. Okay, so now we are ready to ask the nice people on the ground to give us a pushback. 
Now what we want to do is we want to push back, have our tail go to the, our right and our nose to our left. So push back, turn the nose to the left, degrees, 90 degrees, select the tug, and so now that is all set, we'll just push the button and contact the ground. Contact the ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Copy that. Ready to push. Tail to the right. Parking brakes released, please. Parking brakes are released. We'll start engine number brakes one released. today. So I'm switching to generator one up here. Turning off the air conditioning and as soon as we get started here Actually, here we go here we go so starting engine number one switch to ground start valve has opened the N2 is cranking up it's spinning when this gets to 24 then I'll introduce the fuel 24 fuel is in we'll be looking for 115 volts up here and we're looking over here to make sure that the engine gas temperature is climbing nicely fuel flow is running smooth the low oil pressure light has gone out we have a good start and there's the engines they've ignited So we're now switching to engine number two, we have 115 volts up here. Start valve has opened on engine number two. We're watching the N2 climb to 24 and then we will bring in the fuel. There's 24 fuel in the introduced. Parking brake set, thank you. Brake set. And we should be hearing the engine start. There we go, we've got the low pressure light has come off. And we have 115 volts up here. So we have a good start. Now I'm going to switch the generators to the main engines turn on the air conditioning, turn off the APU bleed, and switch off the APU. Turn on the runway taxi lights, and turn this on to RTO, and go to flaps 10 on this. Okay. Generators are on. Check, pro heat is now on, check. Anti-ice not needed, isolation valves correct, engine stop levers, idle detent. Flight deck door is closed and locked. Recall is check. And flight controls check, flaps green light. Stabilizer trim, check. Auto brake, RTO check, speed brake lever down, D10, ground equipment is now clear and the kamikazes are already loitering around looking for a target. Well, we'll have to see about that. Right, turning on the TCAS. I'm now in position. I'll wait until he clears. Brake is off. Check across the board. Attendance. We are about to move. So give a little bit of power to get ourselves unstuck. And we need to go out here, turn right down the taxiway, all the way to the end. Look left, look right, make 
sure nothing is coming. Stick our hand out to turn right here. <laughs> and make our turn everything is clear there's the fire station this is very detailed very nicely put together oh and my frame rate in case you're wondering is 44 45 not bad at all not bad at all that world travel aircraft there is there courtesy of wide traffic part of the simulator software that sends the traffic from computer one to computer two you remember I am running two computers on this and the weather is definitely looking threatening well we'll do all right we'll be just fine so good I'm going to put in our minimums for Bangalore good that's in Ok, 
beeping, review and engine bleeds are on, check, engine start switches, continuous check, all lights are on, check, cabin is secure, check, all right, move out into position and make sure that nothing is coming. Everything looks clear. Make our turn onto the center line here. And clock is running. Advance the power to N1. We have good power. Toga button pushed. Full power and we're rolling.
shop in this cloud layer here, so I'm hoping we can slow up a little bit in order to make the passengers more comfortable. Besides which, we don't want any broken champagne glasses now, do we? <laughs> the other thing is, we have Atis from Bangalore, and it is reporting two miles visibility in light rain.
free of the really bad weather which is to the other side of the airport. If it stays to the northern side of the airport we'll be fine. Right, going to flaps 5. Pressure on barometric pressure, I should say. We're 
be the only ones in the vicinity, but I am keeping my eye open for any traffic alerts. All right, now we're turning downwind on for runway 27 right. So we're now downwind. the 
glide slope indicator here. As soon as we get to D9.7 on the chart, I'll click on the approach to lock it on. Thrust 
and we will turn here and leave the runway at Box Trot. Ryanair 186 exit runway when able. Ryanair 186 contact ground on 121.65. 121.654 Ryanair 186. Now let's see where we can get off. There's a there's a taxiway. It's actually active in P3D, but on the charts it's showing as not being active at all. And what we need to do is we need to go over there just to the right hand side of the main terminal building. Right, I'm going to start the APU. is off. Good. Crew is released to go to work. And we'll turn right here. Uh, stick your hand out please to indicate. <laughs> Almost had you. Here we go. We'll turn right in here. taxiway here, the L2, oh look at that, the lining up, the lining up, they're already coming at me, kamikazes, what is there, a sign on the side of the airplane that says, come for me, hit me, get out of it you lot. Right, we're going to slip into 28. It's right down through here. In fact, there's the tower. rain we need a little bit of cover I wonder if they will bring that up to our door and give some cover for the people getting out and coming up and whoa there okay brakes on and power is now off. Okay, lights off. TCAS is off. Seatbelt signs are off. And everything is cleaned up. Oh, look at all of that. That red cells. There's some really bad weather out there. We, we did very well. 
Okay, let's just check. Good, everything is done. And then take that and shutdown is complete. Well, we made it. We did indeed. It's pouring down with rain. We've actually got better weather in England than they do here in this part of India. But no matter. Now, Captain GL, I hope that you appreciated the flight, that we did it right. Um, you picked two very good airports to come to. And by the way, this is the FSDG scenery, which is extremely detailed, very detailed indeed. My frame rate I'm showing is 32, 33 at the moment. And that's with all of this high detail that you see here. And also the active sky, the rain, everything else coming down is really putting a lot of en uh, effort and taking, um, putting a lot of strain on the system as it were. Now, next time, if all goes well, I'm going to be having Father Ludovic with me. He's scheduled to fly in on Ryanair, uh, but coming into Manchester uh, sometime on Tuesday morning. If everything goes well and there are no problems with border control, quarantine restrictions, paperwork, and a thousand other things that could possibly go wrong, then we shall have a a lot of flights that we will be doing together. So that's for next week. In the meantime, I wish you a wonderful weekend and I'll see you on Ryanair 186.